he's got, I mean, uh, he's saying he's got an arm drape over the belt. This is a horrible position for me. And my posture's already broken. This really, really sucks. All right, this really, really sucks. The chances of Phil finishing me from here is actually really, really good. There is an escape from here that you like. I call the best position is coming from, from the bottom. I'm going to bring my feet as close to Phil as possible. Instead of sitting in this position, I'm going to pick you up a little bit, Phil, so you guys can see. See my legs are like in an S position, just like the stretch we do every single class. That's what I want to do. I want to get my shins as close to Phil as possible. Now, the most common mistake is for people to use, use their elbow or their hand and try to bridge the person up. This isn't what I want to do, all right? It will work, believe it or not, if I have Phil like, hanging upside down like a, like, like a bat and I slam his head against the mat. It will work. We don't want to do that. It's going to, first off, injure Phil, and as well, it takes way too much strength on my part. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll. So I just bring my shoulder to the mat. I bring my shoulder to the mat. I roll. Phil's going to roll to all fours. But the key thing is, is that once I get to this stage, I need to drive up, pull my arm up, and get into the top position. So, so we all know how to get into the top We're here in the bottom. What I want to do is I want to bring my shins as close to Phil as possible. Just doing this won't work. See how his hip is far away from my hip? I want to get him directly underneath Phil like this. That way he can be greater. Look at my shoulder, guys. I'm just going to bring my shoulder to the mat. Turn, I roll, Phil, I gotta drive up. Pull my arm out and get into the top position. I need to follow my hands. Let's give that a try. Please.